Hi Taurus, I'm Brenda and I'm here again today to bring you your weekly angel tarot card readings for the week of July the 27th to August the 3rd. I want to thank you again for tuning into my channel and for your loyal interest in my videos. That's what keeps me coming out here every week with these 12 zodiac signs that I read for you. <clears throat> we start our week, Taurus, with the King of Air. And this king is telling me that for some of you, you need to speak your own mind and do it with confidence right now. Um, if you're dealing with a situation, and like I've told you before, the air cards have to do with um, uh, communication, the legal system, uh, justice, uh, truth, and ideals that we have, and any sort of troubling uh, parts of our lives that deal with that type of an intellectual mat and situation and uh, those types of things. So this card says that you need to speak your own mind and speak it with confidence, but that they also advise that you take some professional advice from someone else. So maybe perhaps some of you are seeing a counselor, you are seeing a, uh, seeing a lawyer, you're speaking to somebody, it could be the tax man, it could be any of these issues, uh, that you need to take their professional advice so that when you do speak your mind, it will be spoken with confidence. Um, it will help to balance your mind and emotional. Uh, part of your life if you do this. <clears throat> On Tuesday you've been given another air card my friend and this particular air card is the nine of air and you're dealing with a situation right now and you, you you've kind of got yourself backed into a corner where you're thinking that no matter what the outcome is not going to uh, come out the way you want and you're expecting the worst of this situation um, to the point where some of you are actually losing sleep. On Wednesday, you've been given a major card, <clears throat> and this is the Empress card, and this is all about uh, getting um, getting the rewards uh, from the hard work that you've been doing right now. And it's like no matter what you do, you have the Midas touch. Um, it's giving it's giving uh, birth to your dreams and abundance coming into you. It talks about you perhaps nurturing others and others nurturing you. Um, and you need to enjoy life around you and know that you deserve all the good that is coming into you right now um, because it's coming into you right now. And it is a time of excellence for some of you. Also, it's a good time for emotional and physical good health. Thursday, my friend, a beautiful water card. And you know these are my, my favorite cards. And this is the Ten of Water. And it tells me that some of you are enjoying a contented family life right now. <clears throat> And your emotional and some and your emotional and your material needs are being met. So you're taken care of. Some of you are enjoying those things in life. So maybe some of you it's your family. Maybe some of you it's the material part of your life. Or maybe some of you are lucky enough. It's you're, you're receiving both because that's what this card is referring to. That you are in a contented, rewarding family life, and your emotional and material needs are met. Also, those that are concerned about relationships that they're in, and no matter what type of relationship that you're in, know that it is a trustworthy one. On Friday, my friend, you've been given a fire card, and this is the Ten of Fire. And this is telling me that some of you are working really, really, really hard right now, and uh, you're doing way too much work. They're showing me this like massive amount of work that you're doing, and you need to accept accept help from others. So don't uh, don't feel that you can't allocate some of those jobs to other people to take that workload off of you because if you don't, life gets out of balance and when life gets out of balance, you become stressed and when you become stressed, it starts that domino effect and stress can lead to physical problems as well. So give some of that work to someone else to help take that stress off of you. On Saturday, my friend, you've been given the Knight of Water. Well, this is a beautiful card because this card talks about some of you falling in love right now. And you may even be receiving a proposal for a, and a proposal to get married. And some of you actually will be planning a wedding right now. Um, but you need to know that when you're about to make something so profound, to make this decision, to take this leap of faith into your future, that you need to make sure that everything's balanced when you do that mind, body, and soul, okay? So think about this. I know you're in love. Think about this before you actually make this move. Um, or for some of you, you may be receiving by mail or email. Uh, um, you will be receiving a um, invitation to a social event like a wedding. My friends, at the end of the week, you've been given an earth card. 
and this is Sunday's card, and this is the Two of Earth. And it's telling me again that there's too much going on around some of you right now, and you need to make a decision. Uh, but you need to consider when you make this decision in a lighter manner. Don't go in there with your guns blaring and, <clears throat> and your, your hackles up. Uh, do it with a, a more gentler manner. Uh, almost take a, a playful approach when you're going to make this decision because there's a lot going on that has to do with this decision you're going to make. At the end of the week, I gave you that one oracle card again. And this week I did something different. I chose to pick one of the uh, the, the deck of the Ascended Masters, which again is another Dorian Virtue. Uh, they have to do with the angel cards and uh, our guides. And this one is the Ascended Masters. And this particular card that came up for you is listen. So it's exactly that. It's all about you going off to your place, shutting out the outside influences like radio, TV, whatever, the traffic, close the windows, whatever, um, and go within yourself and listen. And just be at peace with yourself, like you're meditating. Just close your eyes, shut out the world, all the outside influencing uh, noises around you, and go within yourself and listen to the signs. It is also a card that refers to trusting how you feel. Listen to the signs of your physical body. If you're not feeling well, or you're discovering new aches and pains to do with your body, listen to those signs. The universe sends us signs in all ways, spiritually, and emotionally and physically. I hope this reading brought you some insight and, uh, and some enjoyment to your week and some benefit to your week. And I wish you a great remainder to today and a wonderful optimistic week ahead to look forward to. Again, I leave you with another quote. And the quote I chose today is, we can always choose to perceive things differently. We can focus on what's wrong in our lives or we can focus on what's right. It's all about the law of attraction, my friends. And so we need to focus on what you want, not what we don't want. So if you should want a private reading with me, my website is www.brendatarospelt.info. I uh, will see you again next week and know that I will continue to stand in the circle of light for you.